It usually goes. I, I hope so. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Well, I got a pickup load of uh, hunting gear, my bow, food in the back of the cooler, and it is time to head down to the ranch that we've been hauling hay to. Going to the uh, Allo Cattle Company for year four of archery elk season. Took the first three years to finally kill one, and uh, we'll see how we do now. Looked at the forecast and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, five to eight inches of snow. Five to eight inches of snow. I think it was like 80 degrees four days ago. But it's Montana for you, especially this time of year. So elk haven't really been around on the ranch the way it sounds, but they are moving now, I bet, with snow pushing in. I hope. about 20 miles away from the ranch. Maybe not even quite that far anymore. And I just met the first car with snow cover in the front bumper and license plates. Well, we made it to the ranch and uh, we got a few flurries falling. And that tree right there, that's where we loaded up an elk from last year. So, kind of scouting where they were last year. I don't see any. It sounds like they're not really in here yet. These are alfalfa fields of Travis's, so that's a pretty good place to find them, usually in the evenings and mornings as they're feeding out there, but I don't see any yet. So, I'm going to meet up with Travis. He's out draining storage tanks and getting uh, everything kind of ready for winter up here, and uh, we'll go see if he found anything yet. Oh, look! Farm machinery. Worst part about hunting by yourself. I gotta be the gate opener. Over in those trees, there's some elk. About six bulls. Hey, that's what I've been looking for. Just got back here. I'm gonna go on about a four mile round trip hike through here, back and forth, ended up right at those trees below that hill. And uh, boy, they're bugling like crazy. They went down into that ravine over there, so I don't know. We'll go see where they went, I guess. Keep our distance. They kind of don't mind the pickup near as much as they mind me walking around, but got about 50 yards away from one okay bowl. I mean, anything's okay with a stick. This is why I'm not driving my new Chevy pickup. It's a little tight in spots in here. It's gonna be a little hard to see an elk today.
get him to come in was about 80 yards. They weren't interested in coming any further. One small six by six, the rest were five by fives. Pretty cool to call them in like that though. Well, I got a little closer in there to those elk, got in the next grove of trees from where I uh, videoed them last there. Sat around for about 45 minutes. Nothing was moving, they all bedded down. So I uh, started bugling at them. We had a nice little conversation. They went up over the next hill. I followed them, talked some more. They went over the next hill. We talked some more and they got into the neighbors. They decided they were more interested in going that way then I was interested in them so hey guys I figured I'd just check in again let you guys know what's going on and how I'm doing and yeah well I'm dumping a truck right now here at the pit then we got rained out yesterday and then we got a late start today but picking corn again um overall it's been a fun experience learned a lot still kind of learning every day and it is pretty cool watching this stuff get picked and been around and it's been fun the guys i work with they're fun to hang out with and be around it's been a good time but yeah i figured i just pop in and say how i'm doing and still alive the corn is tall you can barely see the combine back from hunting came back empty-handed for archery season which I know is a shock you think with uh, with a beard like this and uh, Walmart camo and Costco pants camouflage plants it just been a done deal from the start but it wasn't actually it should have been I uh, had a really nice six by six bull come cutting over a hill I had him cut off from the rest of the herd cow and bull come up over the hill drew back shot right at the vitals just high he was only like 15 20 yards when i thought he was 40 yards away from me so that's how that went anyways still rifle season still might get an elk this season we'll see but back at the farm need to get some stuff put away like sprayer i'm gonna go look in the shed see which shed i can put it in plenty of room Get the sprayer and the magnum in here, I think. Oh, John Deere stuff. Snug fit. I think we left enough room here to get the 370 in and uh, just freshened up the mousetrap. 
supposed to wait to kill mice in the shed. Peanut butter, antifreeze, and a water bottle. Five gallon bucket, RV antifreeze. Yep, good to go. Rearranging the shed to fit what we can in here. Nothing runs like a deer, huh? Let's try it again. Nothing runs like a deer, huh? I mean, I don't even know how to respond to that. Just put it there and we'll stick Dad's four wheelers there and then we're good. Whoa, you're gonna make me tired. Whoa, whoa! Be nice to Dad's lawn tractor. We can actually go back like two more inches. Can I put it down? Put it down. I feel like you're going to put it down. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Very good. What do you think we put on that thing for hours this year? About three? Ooh, do you hear this? Is it going to pop? It usually goes. I, ah. I hope so. No can am, is it? Turn back, turn back. <laughs> you uh, don't bump up on the curb or you fail your. I can't hear you over how loud it is. Don't back up on the curb, you fail your driver test. Oh my gosh, it's like impossible to pull this. I don't know why all these are doing here. Keep going. I'm gonna hit the Go straight. Good. Oh, back over something. You backed over the curve. You failed. <laughs> That's good. I wonder what you what you parked on. It's over here. so loud. I just tapped. It spun out real oh, quick. Oh, you hit the you hit the it wall. It spun out and went psh, right there. Probably scared the horses over there. Can you just show them how only half my butt? Yeah, this thing needs some work. Dad needs to order a new seat. I think you can buy that off tractorseat.com, someone told me. Oh, golly. <sighs> it doesn't type There we go, I moved the seed bags back there because they're always in the way. We'll get those put in the ground this year, most of them next year. Spot for the quad track. But this is gonna work out good. It's already sold. Taking it tomorrow to meet the guy that's buying it over in Haver. It's gonna be heading over to the cut bank area. So, Gotta change one hose though. I noticed there's a hose that was uh, kinked. Must have been uh, the suction line going into the pump. Assuming probably the valve shut and turned the pump on and just collapsed it and never recovered. So I'm gonna change that for him. So here's our hose down here that's kinked. So you gotta take off that end and then take it off the hose barb on the back of the manifold. 
Put some pretty yellow holes on it. Yeah, I'm guessing that wasn't letting 400 gallons a minute of water through it. Glad I caught that. Now for the fun part. Which actually isn't the fun part. Now we're gaining it by so creeper with blue. Well, that's as far as it was, so I think. Got looking at a few more things here and the line for the back tank dropped through there and was ran behind the tires underneath the deck there. And it didn't quite stay put once it got heavy full of water and it almost rubbed through on the tires. Tires are fine, holes is just damaged. Yeah, right there, no good. A little tight to go over the mud flat bracket and under the cross members, but uh, yeah, that was, uh, seemed fine, but it's not. So, new hose over there. Going to loosen these mud flat brackets, drop them down, run the hose through, lift the bracket up. Might pinch the hose just a tiny bit, but I think it's gonna work a lot better. New hose is installed, plenty of clearance. Had to leave the back mud flat bracket off. They can figure that out if they wanna put it back on, but that one doesn't pinch it so bad. Nice and brighter there, huh? All right, switch trucks out, so we're ready in the morning. See you in the morning. Morning.
says Mondays are for Jake breaks, he's mistaken. Jake breaks are for every day. season cattle haulers off to its new home Well, I made it back home, one piece. Wonder if the trailer made it to hits home. Sure it did. But uh, thanks for watching guys, don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. See you next video.